Okay, everybody, we are doing a GoPro Hero 11 test versus the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, we've noticed some funny things with the Pocket 3 here and there, like it will focus on you and then everything in the background is blurry. So we want to show you uh, GoPro 11 versus the Pocket 3. I'm not sure which one to look at. She doesn't know. Uh, so let's see the difference. You know, we'll try to show you these side by side and you can make your own mind up. This is for vloggers that are curious about both cameras. So let's go do this. All right, so walking down, it's not Main Street. We are at Hollywood Studios. What do we call this street Sunset here? Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. No, I thought that's the next one. Well, whichever it is. There's Gertie over there. And we have the Chinese Theater down here. Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. All right, that's it. All right, well, here is Sunset Boulevard. And the park is pretty crowded today. It's like, what, 6 p.m.? 6.30? About 7 o'clock. Oh, there she is, everybody. The Hollywood Tower Hotel. I guess I will go like this. <laughs> Seeing if I can look up the wait time. Look them up. Before we actually get there. Hollywood Studios. List. Uh, 35 minutes. Oh, 35? Want to just try for it? Yeah, I guess so. All right, we're gonna try for a 35 minute wait time for Tower of Terror. That's not bad for this time of day. I was Ooh, hoping to go Anaheim at night. Anaheim Produce. But... They have good margaritas over there. You were hoping for nighttime? Yeah. Well. Maybe we can do it twice. Maybe. I was gonna say, oh, nighttime we we're gonna Never be mind. full. Never mind, dinner's at eight. Yeah. So park closes at nine, so. Sunset Ranch Market. I think we've eaten there before. And we have Theater of the Stars. So you hate women. Yeah, let's just get in line. Okay, we have a 35 minute wait time. I think we're gonna go for it. Not bad, 35 minutes. All right, change of plan. Sign says 35 minutes, it's no way. If the line is all the way out there, there's no way. By the way, quickly showing the gear. Here's the GoPro Hero 11. We do have the original DJI wireless mic hooked to it. And we have the Karma grip that gives you the extra battery life. And we're just using the DJI Pocket 3 as is, the small configuration. And we each do have the wireless mics. Yep, and Andrea's boarding the two DJI mics, the original and then the new one that comes with the Pocket 3. Yeah. And I have the same configuration right here. So we have both mics, both cameras. Good to go.
Ooh, bright. All right, we're heading for swirling saucers. All right, we're gonna give this a go. Let's hope it's true. 15 minutes it says. 15 minutes. Oh, it might be more than 15. Well, although it holds a bunch at one time. All right, who's ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We're gonna ride alien swirling saucers. saucers. It's been a while. We haven't been on this in a long time, so. It has been a little If we while. haven't eaten, so it should be good. <laughs> It'll be good. Happy toys, please remain fully seated. There is no lap sitting and hold on to all loose items. <laughs> spin and now we're gonna run on over to star tours to hopefully get a new scene and then we're gonna check into dinner and yeah. get to prime time swirling saucers is fun we i don't care who you are really swung fun. around more than i remember but it was fun yeah all right star tours if possible oh yes a little trip through galaxy's edge i mean who doesn't like that Whoa, check this out. So it'd be fun to dress like a thief. Yeah, very cool here. So we've been in, on this ride here, Smuggler's Run, which is always fun. See if I could get a good shot of her. Oh, yep, there she is. Good shot. Okay, we have Star Tours. 10 minutes standby. I think we'll do it. Uh, we'll do our check in first for our dinner, and then we'll get in. Both devices and low light. Thank 
So the DJI seems to drift a little bit, and the GoPro, whatever you're pointing at, you're pointing at. Uh oh. Part two. You're traveling with a friend of mine that has vital information for the rebellion. The spy. I knew it. Head to the rendezvous point I am sending you. Good luck, Star Tours. And may the force be with you. Just a moment, Arthur. Let us. Okay, a little low light test here. Got the sci fi dining theater over here. Yeah, we love that place. And look at, oh, baseline, great bar over here. Look at the hat Andrea bought. And could I be wearing any more Grogu? Any more Grogu -er? or? Grogu -er. Gro Grogu -er? Gro -gru -er. Gro -gru -er. I don't know. I better workshop that a little more. All right, off to dinner. All right, we have the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular at nighttime. Low, lower light here. It's twilight. Sun is just going down. <laughs> I was trying to put it on over the ears. Uh, you may need to... Uh, you may need to take the right. hat off. Right. Nope, you got it. Nailed it. <laughs> huh. She got it. <laughs> it was almost like you putting on a rain slicker. All right, we are already checked in at 50s prime time, and I feel like they let you check in farther away now. We were way over at Star Tours, and it let us check in. Oh, oh the, family, the of family of ducks. Ducks again. Oh. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Don't chase them. I'm not chasing them. Oh. It definitely has to be the same family we saw last week. Aren't they just cute? They're so cute. Andy. All right. <laughs> oh. And if you notice that, when you turn the gimbal back around, sometimes you got to do a double click to reset horizon. So, it's another little thing. But this is a good test for GoPro. It's not the best in the daylight, or when the daylight goes away. So... All right, here's where we're eating. 50s Primetime Cafe. Have we been called yet? I don't think so. All right, but this place is just so cool and looks cool on the inside too. Okay, what's better at a selfie? Oh, it's turning around, I see it. Smile. We got this. This doesn't look we should weird have, at all. We should have one good one somewhere. This does not look weird at all. Thumbnail. Here's the menu for tonight's dinner. But yeah, let's go in. Yeah, so this side, if you turn left, you got a cool looking 50s place and you have a bar. You could just walk in and get a drink. No, no need to wait. Hello. Hi there. We are doing well. We're nice and hungry. Well, we're testing yeah. out which is better. That's yeah. why he's carrying okay. Yeah, that's two. right. Yeah, which is the better one to vlog on? Okay. But yeah, 
I mean, we have a few people. Okay. But... <laughs> That's right. Okay, so right over here. Oh, nice, nice. This is a good one. Oh, and we got a TV in the corner. Yeah, we got TV there, we got TV there. It's all the same thing, only one channel, so I do hope you guys like what's on. All right, we're going to show the interior here. Just a quick little pan. It is so cool. Like, look over here. Look, it's got the old TVs. Uh, can't see the date on the calendar. What does say me? But it's all like super cool. Ooh, let's do a little cheer. So I do have a, what was this? PB, PBJ cocktail? Yes. PBJ cocktail. I have the Mickey Bebop, which is basically cherry Sprite, and it is fabulous. Oh my god, this is really good. <laughs> Alright, the PBJ tastes like... PBJ. I guess it tastes like PBJ. You're doing a caveman style. Oh wow, that's good. I am like a cornbread self-claimed aficionado mm. and this is a winner amazing <laughs> so needless to say this is really good we can't recommend that enough then they said this is new the cornbread that's why we had to get it yeah quite good highly recommend it who are you talking to? They're good. Nobody? Where, why do you have your elbows on the table? Oh, I was just going to see if you notice. Oh, wait. And then I go put it up again. Oh. He's a problem, child. I see that. Just remember the cornbread <laughs> fiasco. The yeah, right? No, the, 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 the club, club soda. But he ate half of it. Oh, no. it's crazy good. Yeah, we may need a box. All right, well, oh yeah, you can't put your elbows on the table. And you gotta sit up straight and Andy got caught. Cornbread! I wish everyone could have tasted this. It is like, I was skeptical. I was skeptical about getting Yeah, cornbread, he didn't want to order it. I had to say no. Really, really if there's cornbread on the menu, especially if it's new, you get it. I really Especially don't. Especially if it's in a cast iron skillet. Yeah. And I really don't want to stop eating it, but I know we have food coming, so. We're taking it home. Yep. She's putting it in her purse. Look at us. Dinners have arrived. And I've already started. So I have the pot roast, and Andrea has meatloaf. But this looks fabulous. So let's give everything a little go. I like a tender pot roast. Oh, the gravy, the gravy and mashed potatoes. It's got to be the same gravy, right? Oh, I don't know. Okay. But the meatloaf is lovely, and I <laughs> do not like meatloaf, but there's just something about so, it. We both have the exact same mashed potatoes and gravy, and they are really good. Hot roast is good. Carrots, a little crunchy. And we already told our lady that we will not be finishing and ordering a dessert still. Mm. She wasn't happy about it, but that's what we're doing. She may tell mom back in the kitchen. All right, well, we won't make you watch us eat forever, but this is really good. Look at this place. Mm, very cool. We'll try. <laughs> See you next time. See ya. We will be back. All right. I promise. We will. Look at how cool this is. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Look at this.
close. So cool. There's someone we know right there. God, this room is just crazy. Look at this. All right, we out? We're out. Ooh, look at the decor. All right, we're out. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, nobody's in the park. Well, there are people in the park. <laughs> That's the most you get. So one of the things about getting a... Whoa! Wow. One of the things about getting a late reservation is you could close out the park. So oh, there's Hollywood and Vine. Another nice restaurant. Yeah, we're about closing out the park here, although there's a fair amount of people over here. Where'd all these people come from? Okay, we are in the park officially, so I think our first order of business might be to get a little snack. Yeah, but how about that parade that they brought for our adventures? I know, that was crazy, right? Just our rough. entrance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this menu here. Oh, hot dogs, mint julep, it's so good. Okay, so here's another good little test. In uh, the last video, DJI wanted to focus on this pole, and we were out of focus. Okay, so mint julep, it's our go-to. We just showed you where you got it at Casey's. Cheers. Oh, these are so good. One of the best refreshing drinks when we're on a hot day. It is. And then we got, so two pepperoni spring rolls. And two of the cheeseburger two cheeseburgers so we'll see if this makes any difference so we'll see how the gopro does like we said in the dji this was out of or in focus out of focus okay. oh so for a snack though we're having the little corn dog nuggets and a mint julep how is it mint julep is fabulous i'll try one corn dog Casey's Corner for the win. Got a good mint julep. That's delicious. And this is good. If you've watched this far, thanks so much. 
We tested real world vlogging conditions of two great compact cameras, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 with an extra wireless mic and the GoPro Hero 11 Black with the Volta grip and the original DJI wireless mic system. Both are small compact setups that are easy to carry around. To purchase the GoPro setup we used for this video, you would spend about $659. We do recommend adding the DJI wireless mics as it solved all our sound issues for the Hero 11. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Edition is $669 and to add a second microphone is $99. To recap our real vlogging test, let's look at some differences. Here the background of the DJI looks kind of washed out and white. People in the background are fuzzy. The GoPro is displaying bright vivid colors with a nice blue sky. The colors on my shirt look vibrant and all the people in the background are in focus. When we weren't vlogging with the DJI and we're only shooting B-roll, the colors of the sky look better and all people appear to be in focus. So there appears to be a difference if you're right in front of the camera versus behind the camera doing B-roll. The footage looks great in this case. The GoPro also excels at B-roll, especially during the daytime and twilight. Here you can see the same shot as with the DJI. And again, we see nice vibrant colors with everything perfectly in focus. The sun looks perfect as does the colors in the sky. With horizon lock, everything is rock steady and ultra smooth. My biggest pet peeve of the Pocket 3 is the need to recenter the gimbal. This happens like all the time. You see with the GoPro, what you're pointing at is what you get. And look at the skies. The GoPro looks brighter, more vibrant. In twilight, I think the GoPro actually outshines the Pocket 3. Here we see a nice pre-sunset sky on the GoPro and the DJI is still showing a blue sky, which isn't quite correct. The backgrounds behind Andrea are a bit blurry, washed out for the Pocket 3, whereas the GoPro is in focus with more true colors of a just before sunset sky. Here's GoPro full screen where you can just start to see the sunset colors in the sky. Background is still rock steady, crisp in focus. 50's primetime diner is looking great and the lit up neon lights are being captured well by the GoPro. Whereas the DJI is still showing a lot less coloring in the sky and it still looks kind of washed out. Background plants and people are not quite as sharp and crisp as with the GoPro. But at the 50s primetime diner, the DJI is doing a nice job here. Both cameras really did a great job with this shot. Inside, we're starting to see where the DJI Pocket 3 will start to get an edge over the GoPro. We are both fairly dark in this shot. While it's still workable, it isn't the ideal lighting to show, especially in a 4K vlog. As you can see with the DJI, it's like lights were turned on. It's definitely doing a great job at capturing lower light settings. Edge DJI. With well-lit subjects, even at night, the GoPro does a great job, just like the DJI. Showing the same scene here with both cameras, one would be hard-pressed to pick the better one. They both did a great job. At very low light is where the GoPro Hyper Smooth feature starts to wobble, literally. You can see the shake bounce of each step as it struggles to keep it steady. Same here with all the people exiting the park, there's a slight jump to the footage. The DJI Pocket 3 doesn't have that issue with night footage. You can see that it's still rock steady thanks to the built-in gimbal. And there's no bounce or distortion as with the GoPro footage. So which camera should you choose? Well, GoPro does very well in daylight and twilight. You see crisp, bright colors, rock steady, always in focus, sharp footage without a gimbal to continually recenter. And if you use the original wireless DJI mics that we use, you get sound that, in my opinion, is superior to the sound you get from the new DJI Pocket 3. I don't know why the older ones are better, they just seem like they are. There were many instances in this vlog where the new Pocket 3 uh, wireless mics would distort or have one channel completely cut out. DJI does a great job as well, as you can see here with the non-stop action footage. However, where there is bright sky, the GoPro does a better job without washing out the sky in white. 
Nighttime, the DJI is a very capable camera giving very good stable nighttime footage that is clear and bright. After putting this vlog together and seeing the side-by-side -side footage, I believe we will switch back to using the GoPro with the original DJI wireless mics for any daytime only vlogs. For nighttime vlogs or vlogs that are mainly indoors, we'll likely use the DJI Pocket 3. Possibly without the mics though, as the DJI Mic 2 doesn't seem to give the sound quality that the original DJI mics had. If you found this vlog helpful, and especially if it saves you money in your decision, consider hitting the super thanks. Any amount, no matter how small, would be appreciated to help us continue to create vlogs like these. Please also consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted whenever we put out new videos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you next time.